he was very good okay. for 30 years and now we are in the middle of a, a, a very uh, deep crisis. The city in Brazil that was planned perfectly at the beginning is now facing trouble. Curitiba, Brazil had a major urban planning redesign to hold a population of about 1 million people in the 1960s. But now in 2013, the city has over 3 million people in its metropolitan area. One part of the city's character is the bus rapid transit system. It was formed to bring efficiency to the public transportation system by having specific buses and routes for the citizens of Curitiba. Urban planning professor Fabio Dorate says that the main trouble for the BRT is not the buses, but the people who are riding them. People here in Brazil prefer to live in, in towers than in houses. Uh, rich people or middle class people live in these towers. And these medium, medium class people or rich people, they don't use public transportation. So now what we have as a, a very hard issue is that we have a good transportation system in place, but those who use the system uh, are not those living along the, the bus corridors. He adds that the government doesn't always agree on what the next step the BRT should take. We have Curitiba planning doing something, but a different city doing exactly the opposite. So it's terrible for transportation issues. So the first and most important is to establish a metropolitan governance. Adeo Bueno, a citizen of Curitiba, rides the bus daily and says that it is a good way to get around even though it is crowded. There may be only one final way to solve the problem that the population and the transportation has brought to the city. They are not technological improvements, but they are political uh, improvements. One of them, the, the metropolitan governance, and the second, changing the land use. Uh, to stimulate that poor people live along the corridors. Glenn Bolick, Dateline Brazil.